Throughout North America, we're seeing more and more zero waste programs where we look to capture organics and food scrap items and divert them from landfill to a compost facility. However, there's the problem, and that's the collection, the plastics like these bags which we have here, these are not compostable or biodegradable today. So at MSU, in our lab, we are designing these materials to be compostable. And compostable products such as Nature Bag compostable liners help enable these practices and our desire to go zero waste. Nature Tech is very happy to support MSU RISE as its research in motion as they develop sustainable solutions that are accessible to anyone, whether it's an urban or rural setting. For me as an educator here at Michigan State University, this is the sweet spot. This is beginning to connect our undergraduates with world-class researchers like Dr. Narayan, with a real-world client like Nature Tech. My students in this class then signed up to be part of this research project to look at what does it take to change behavior? What does it take to get people over the ick factor around worms and soil and composting? Can we change behavior here? And if we can change behavior here, might we be able to change behavior at a larger scale? Anytime you want to mobilize action, social action, around a topic like composting, I think you need to address change at the individual, the group, and the community level. And what we really like about this project is that it makes composting accessible and applicable in an urban environment, as well as within the context of their hall. take our pre and post consumer food waste from the cafeterias or from the dorm rooms um, and we can hot compost it and then bring it back and work it into the soil and grow more food. All the compost is from their rooms, they're all biodegradable things, we have a list of things that they can compost and they put it in the bag. After I weigh it, I log it in the computer and we're trying to find out how much that a student might compost within a week. One of the tools that we're using in the project is the biodegradable bags. They've really helped the students with their room-to-room -room collection where they have the bin that are aligned with the bags. So it keeps things a little more efficient, a little quicker, particularly when you're trying to get people to start this for the first time. The more you can make it convenient and clean, the, the better your success is going to be. And so the biodegradable bags have really allowed that to happen. Our 72 by 30 foot uh, passive solar hoop house grows certified organic culinary herbs and salad greens that go directly over to the Brody Square Dining Hall. The soil that we grow our food in consists of 60,000 pounds of pre-consumer food waste from Brody that was taken out to the student organic farm, hot composted with wood chips and then brought back here. Hot composting is a matter of getting the right mix of ingredients, or as we might call them, feedstocks. We get this right mixture going of greens and browns, and then we have to add water. And so but with the food, air, and water, the microorganisms grow very quickly, and uh, because there are so many of them, the temperature rises also, and the breakdown happens quickly. So I'm John. My name is Allison Stawara. My name is Abdullah. I'm Madeline Judge. I'm Heather Shea Gasser. I am Lori and I am advancing knowledge and transforming lives. <laughs>